think one thing to point out is how special today's event is. Because in my role, I very luckily invited to speak at a lot of conferences and they tend to be very passive affairs. You come in, you sit down and you listen to things that have happened and then you go away with a list of things to look up or try. Today is very different and that was one of the reasons when Matt suggested it and I said, but we're kind of fully booked in July already. And he kept saying, yes, but this is going to be very different. So in the end, I said, yeah, OK, I'll come down. It sounds fantastic. Because this is a live conference, we're going to be doing a research lesson, actually first-hand data. That's so important. So often things are done second-hand and given to us, and someone else has interpreted it. Today, we get to do that at first-hand, and I think it's a fantastic innovation. And in light of that, what I'd like to do in the Enriched session is and rather than just go through and say, here's a lot of activities, off you go, I think we'll treat this as a maths gym. Now some people are going, ooh, not sure about that. But think about it. If you go to a gym and you go and sit at the side and watch, no matter how hard you try, you are not going to get any fitter by watching other people doing all the sit-ups and press-ups. You have to do a bit. And in a maths gym, it's about having a go at doing some of the maths and reflecting on it and talking to the people around you. So we're going to have a go at doing some maths activities. We'll have a think about how you can maximise what's an enrich. And I'll try and make sure I cover as much as I possibly can in the time. But I'll be staying around later. So there's something I've not covered and you don't want to ask during the main session. Please come and have a word with me. So a little bit about enrich. Matt said that we've got people here from early years right through all the key stages. Well, that means there'll be something on Enrich for you because Enrich starts with the early years, covers primary, secondary, post-16, including GCSE resits. We have a hub work group on that and the university entrance exams. I'm supposed to cover all of that. So if there's a knock on my door, it can be somebody going, I'm working on a problem about Wellington boots and socks for the early years. What do you think? And then the next knock on the door is, I'm just doing this entrance exam question. That was last year at Cambridge. And it's got these different mechanics components. What do you think of the way I've presented it? One after another. You have to really be able to switch between the key stages. But the advantage is we've got a consistent approach. And I think that's so important. When you think about transition and the new classes that come in September, Having consistency is really important. And in Rich, we have consistent expectations. We're based at the University of Cambridge. I've come down for the Faculty of Mathematics. It's a very busy place at the moment because we're celebrating Stephen Hawking's birthday. He's turned 75. In true Cambridge tradition, we don't celebrate anything when it happens. We celebrated in Rich's birthday, which was in January last week. And Stephen's birthday was also in January. So we're celebrating it this week. But that's because the maths faculty and the education faculty, which we're part of, are active faculties. And we have research going on throughout the year. So we squeeze everything else in in these few weeks in June and July. But with all of these things going on, what really matters is the core business. And Rich is the home of Rich Mathematics. It has been for 20 years. But we started off as an online maths club. Now, if you go back 20 years and think about the internet and mobile phones that you needed a wheelbarrow to carry them around in, things have changed a lot. When we started off, having an online maths club was innovative. There were about 360 million people on the internet then. Now, everybody's got the internet. Children in supermarkets are busy playing on iPads to keep them occupied. But at the time, it was very innovative. And the challenge is, to keep Enrich at the forefront. And what we're doing is we're working constantly with schools, educators, researchers, talking to Ofsted, talking to maths associations, talking with NAMA, to keep things as up to date as possible. And in light of that, there's our new home page. Now, in the last week, it changed to this. So even if you know Enrich well, you may not have seen the home page. If you have seen it in the last week, well done. You're on bonus points already because you're bang up to date. What we've got now is a redesigned homepage because there are ways that people use Enrich that they weren't using 20 years ago, such as 